sky shine bright like a diamond hey guys it's your favorite jersey girl and thank god it is friday tgi you know because it's friday we're gonna have a first impressions friday right and we're also doing a simple makeup look i based it off a picture i'll show you guys again in the video a couple times so you can really see but this is the look that I was trying to accomplish. And these are some of the products that I'm going to use. These are all benefit products. And let me tell you, honey, there are some goodies in here. Thank you guys for all of your love and support because it means everything in the world to me. And I will see you soon. I love you, bunnies. All right, guys. I look fucking nuts today. Let me put my hair up really quick and get this together. Hold on one second. All right, my hair is up, and if you think I look crazy, I know I do, but it's gonna have to just be a right for the day. I had some really great stuff that I'm gonna show you. I've had it for a couple weeks, but I kinda wanted to wait until after Halloween since these really could be classified as like um, Christmas presents or holiday gifts, whatever. The first thing that I'm gonna show you is this tin. And I showed you one of these before. This one has more cosmetic stuff in it. When you open it, you open to a bunch of cool gifts. So you have the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, the Hulu Bronzer, the Give Me Brow, I think this is a primer, and the Poreless Face Primer. Now, another gift that I want to show you, and we'll kind of use both of these, is this. <sighs> the packaging to me looks like a little bit kiddish, but it's not, bitch. Can you hear that? It has pop-outs, so all of these pop out. We're not going to pop all of these out because more than anything, it'll just take forever. So I'm going to open the lid to it like this, and it's still singing, and this is what it opens up to. I wonder if you can turn this off. It comes with the Benefit The Real Remover, the Benefit Lolly Tint, we have another Benefit Lip and Cheek Stain in this, we have the Dandelion Benefit blush. We have the The Real Mascara and again the Poreless Primer. So on the other side, there's two sides, we have a lip gloss. We have an eye cream. Poppy Pink Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain. A highlighter. And this is called High Beam, and it looks like a really pretty color. And again, we have a Hulu bronzer and the Bad Girl Mascara by Benefit. Oh, it's singing again. Great. So this whole kit with all this stuff is only $35 at Ulta, which is super cheap. All right, so out of the little tin can, let's use the poreless primer. Let's get our prime on. If you see this pimple on my face, I apologize for its ugliness. I literally have had it for like a week and I cannot get rid of it. So I love the Benefit Pore minimizer primer. I would give it like a nine and a half. It's one of my favorite primers. Next we are going to pick up the It's Potent Eye Cream that came in the singing music box and dab a little bit of that on our eyes. It has a little tingle to it. It kind of feels minty but not in a bad way. And make sure you lay your eyebrows down. Okay, I tried this product before in my last um, First Impression Friday video. And I did not know that it was a cream foundation. I thought it was a powder. And I quickly found out that I was using it completely incorrect. 
So we're going to try this again. Um, the color is linen. And let's see how this works. Okay, so this is definitely not a full coverage foundation. I'm not crazy about it, guys. But let's try putting on our concealer and stuff because maybe once we do the whole routine, it'll be a little bit better. For concealer today, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to use my Smashbox Studio Skin 24-Hour Waterproof Concealer, and this color is light. a little bit of our RCMA powder. I've been totally obsessed with this lately. The only thing that sucks is the packaging and I'm gonna set my eyes so they don't crease with my Procrease 10. This is a brush from Morphe. And I'm going to contour my nose with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This color is Balm. Alright, I'm so not crazy about this foundation. I would give it like a seven, seven and a half. I'm gonna go into our lip and cheek stain really quick. I am picking up the Posy tint looks like this. Ooh. And I just put a little bit on that way when we're done with our face and we're ready to put our lips on, they'll already have like a pretty little tint. I like this product. All right, I'm gonna do my brows really quick. I'm gonna use um, an oldie but goodie, the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in number two, so give me one second and I'll be right back. I have my brows done and now I'm gonna use the Gimme Brow. This came in the tin can um, and this is number three. It has fibers, it's called Volumizing Fiber Brow Gel. I'm not mad at it. Alright, I give this um, Gimme Brow product a 9. Alright, I normally wait till the end to bronze, but I am going to bronze a little bit. I'll probably go back in because you know how I am about my bronze. I'm going to use the Hula Benefit Bronzer today. Again, this came in the tin package. And this is what it looks like. And I'm loving the Hulu bronzer immediately. Super blendable, super easy to use. And since we have our cheeks contoured now, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that RCMA powder and carve out my contour. All right, I'm gonna use my Fake Up Eye Primer today just because I have it sitting right here. So I just put a little bit on my eye and then I'm going in with a flat brush to blend it out. I'm also gonna take my highbrow pencil from Benefit and I'm gonna go right under my eyebrow to highlight this. All right, and to set that concealer and give us an even base on our eyes, again, I'm gonna go back into that RCMA powder. You can get a lot of uses out of any translucent powder. All right, guys, I got some new brushes in, which I'm gonna use, and I also got some new Makeup Geek shadows, which I'm gonna use. So we all know that Makeup Geek is awesome, but I'm gonna tell you about the specific shadows that I got and let you know if they're worth buying. I'm gonna take my Beach Cosmetics brush number four 
And I'm gonna take the color Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek. And I'm gonna place that right above my crease. And I am immediately loving this color. Makeup Geek has amazing shadows and they are not expensive. I think these are like six bucks. So I love this color. I think it's a great transition color. I would give it like definitely a nine or a 10. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I have to show you the picture that I'm going for. Okay, this is the look that I'm gonna go for today. I don't think she's anybody like famous, but she is gorgeous. But the girl's name is Kathy O-B-B. If you have not checked her out, go check her out. All right, I'm going to take my Morphe M139. This is my favorite blender, but this is actually a new one. And I'm going to take the color Bake Sale. Again, this is Makeup Geek. And we're going to go into our crease with that. I feel like everybody loves this look right now. Like trying but not trying. Just simple and beautiful, easy eyeshadow, super highlighted base. That's what we are going for today. Remember to place your color where you want it and then blend it. And we're bringing it all the way down into our hollow today. All right, with the color Tan Lines from Makeup Geek again. I'm going to use my Morphe M507, it's a little tip. This is a new brush and I'm going right into my crease with that and keeping it very close to that crease. And then with our Morphe we're going to blend, you don't need any more product. right off the bat. With this last color, Tan Lines, I feel like for whatever reason, it didn't go on as easy, which seems kind of weird to me. And I'm going to wipe this off since I forgot to do it like five minutes ago. Oops. And she has a super light, shimmery lid. So we are going to do the same. So I'm going to go into my Naked 3 palette just because they have like gorgeous pinks and I'm going to take my Beach Cosmetics number 8 brush, it's just a flat brush, and I'm going to go into the color Strange first all the way on the end and apply that on my lid. And I'm also going to go into the color right underneath of it, it's called Dust. Put it over the color called Stream. And I'm going to take my MAC 224 and again take that color Strange and just go right under my eyebrow with it. If you don't want harsh lines, use a fluffy brush for your brow bone because they will make a huge difference. And now that we have all those colors on, just again, take your Morphe blending brush and blend one more time just to make sure everything goes together. Again, with the color Strange, we're going to go in the hollow of our eye and we're going to drag it down. And with that Morphe 507, I'm going to go back into Cream Brulee, which was our first shadow and drag it on my bottom lash line and then bake sale her eyes are closed so I don't know what she had on her waterline let's switch it up a little bit this is like a dark dark gray this is infallible studio eyeliner I like the gray for something different and just blend it out a little bit all right, and she does not have any eyeliner on in this picture. She just went right for the lashes, so that is exactly what we are going to do. 
And I'm going to use my Ally Beauty Health Lashes. These are the 119s. So give me one second and I will be right back. Alright guys, so my lashes are on and let me tell you, like, I never do lashes without eyeliner, but I think this is like a super cute look. I'm going to do my upper waterline and I'm going to use the NYX Collection Noir Glossy Black Liner to do so. Make sure you wait until your glue is completely dry to do this. It looks scarier than it is. Okay, it said on her Instagram post that they use the The Real um, Mascara by Benefit. It came in this package and I'm gonna put this on really quick. I think that I still like the Roller Lash Mascara better. For powder, I'm going to use, of course, my Kat Von D. This is the Locket Powder Foundation in Medium 52. And I am using my Sephora Uniform Complexion Powder Brush. And if you have a pimple like I do, really go over it with your powder. I'm going to go back into the Hoola Bronzer, but I'm going to go into this one. Um, this was in the packaging, not the little tint thing. It's a little bit lighter since we already kind of put that dark color on. And I want to see if there's a difference. Ooh. I actually think this color works better with my skin tone. And I'm going to take my little It Cosmetics brush with this bronzer, the lighter color, and contour my nose. Bring it all the way up to your brow and then blend it out a little bit. I'm going to use the High Beam Highlighter. Um, it also came in that little music box kit. Oh shit, it's a liquid. Okay, I probably should have put this one before my powder, but let's see what we can do. So let's just put a little bit on there like that. Right on her cheekbones. A little bit on the bridge of my nose. Cupid's still. And a little bit on my chin. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my favorite highlighter. This is the Becca Opal, and I'm using my Morphe M601. And I'm just placing it on my cheekbones. That um, cream highlight really gave us the good base. I like that product. I would give it a 9. I would say do it before your powder, though. I totally forgot we were using that, so I kind of messed up a little bit on that one. Um, but it's okay. I like to be shining. I want to shine bright like a diamond. Oh, and I like this. I really like this Morphe brush too, like side note, because it has that little sleeve. I'm going to use my Benefit Dandy Lion Blush. It is a gorgeous light pink color, and I'm just using a blush brush. And I'm going all my cheeks with it. For lips, I'm going to use a little bit more of that stain we originally used. Um, I don't know if I just didn't put enough on or it's something you need a couple times but it did not stain too much and I'm gonna use another product that came in the little singing box thing this is the ultra plush lip gloss I like the lip gloss itself and it smells good but this is not the color I'm going for I'm going to use another one of my faves. It's the NYX lipstick. This is number 15. That's better. And we're going to spray. Alright guys, so this is the final look and I'm totally happy and obsessed with how it came out. Let's see if you guys think that it looks similar. I think it does, but I guess my opinion doesn't totally matter in this situation. That shine going, that glow. 
but we kept the eyes super easy, super natural, super light. Anybody can do this. You can do this. Let me take my hair down. Now that we're done, maybe I'll look better and less crazy. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe. Do all that. And don't forget that I'm having a giveaway with the Kai Shadow Burgundy Palette. Make sure you watch that video, enter in the giveaway, so you can get your little paws on one. And I hope you enjoyed the products that I used in this First Impressions Friday. I'll see you soon, and I love you bunnies. You know I got sweatpants on, girl.